So in the last video, we spoke about the basic structure of a virus. And in this video, I wanna talk about what the body does in order to combat a viral infection. So there's four main mechanisms the body uses to kill viruses in the body. The first one is with cytotoxic cells. To understand this better, normal healthy cells have this special receptor on their cell surface called class one major histocompatibility complex, which contains a protein. When a virus infects a cell, it starts to take over the protein production inside the cell. Some of the viral proteins it produces ends up being attached onto this very same receptor, the class one major histocompatibility complex. So these proteins are now attached onto that receptor on the surface of the cell which contains the virus. T cells are a type of white blood cell and one type is called a cytotoxic T cell. They circulate the body almost like a police car, checking if the proteins which are presented on these MHC receptors are the right ones. And if this cytotoxic T cell detects a viral protein, it starts to release cytotoxic factors which are stored in granules. Cytotoxic factors are kind of like toxic substances which degrade and break down the cell. An example of one of them is called perforin, which makes holes in the cell. These granules also contain an enzyme called granzymes, which enter the cell via the holes made from perforin, and, and they initiate a process called apoptosis, which is like cell self-destruction. Some viruses are actually adapted to hiding from T-cells, so to avoid detection, they stop these MHC receptors presenting any proteins, so the T-cells don't know that there's a virus inside. In this scenario, we have a different immune cell, which is called a natural killer cell, which recognize that the cell isn't displaying as many MHC receptors as it should be, so they release toxic substances to kill the cell. Interferons are another way the body can protect itself from viruses. When a virus has infected a cell, they start producing very small proteins called interferons. These interferons can directly affect the ability of the virus to replicate itself. At the same time, they indicate to a neighboring cell that they are infected with a virus, so the surrounding cells increase the amount of MHC class 1 receptors on their surface, and since the infected cell isn't presenting as many, the T cells know that the cell is infected with a virus. The last method the body uses to eliminate viruses is via antibodies. Antibodies look like this. They actually stick onto viruses, making them unable to infect other cells. Several antibodies can work together and cause the viruses to all stick together in a process called agglutination, which allows for better recognition of the virus by immune cells. Another thing that the antibodies can do once they have stuck onto a virus is that they bind onto FC receptors on phagocytes. Now phagocytes are a type of immune cell which engulf or actually kind of eat up the virus and they destroy it once the virus is inside. But they need to be activated by this FC receptor by antibodies first.